Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where our trip to Walt Disney World continues. Today we're here at the Magic Kingdom. Oh, I am so happy to be back and to see the beautiful castle. Of course, we were here a few days ago for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So make sure you check out that vlog if you haven't already seen it. And of course, today we're going to get back on all of our favourite attractions. We are. I'm so excited to be back. All the classic Space Mountain, oh. Big Thunder Mountain, Haunted Mansion and so many more. I'm actually going to start off with an attraction that has been closed for quite a few years. Charlotte's never been on it. I've not done it since 2018. It is, of course, the Walt Disney World Railroad. And look at that absolutely amazing view down Main Street, USA. Oh, I love it. The castle looks beautiful. All the buildings are gorgeous. And yeah, of course, the railroad was actually closed during the construction of Tron. So yeah, it's been many years closed. Of course, Charlotte's first visit here to Walt Disney World was actually 2019. And yeah, it had already closed then. So yeah, really looking forward to this. Not been on it in like five years. So I'm very excited. You know me, I love my trains. And so did Walt Disney. Keep your hands on the family. Well inside the train. We're currently departing Main Street Station. If you're missing those friendly faces already. Already, it is so nice to have this back. It really is. And yeah, of course, the track goes right through where Tron is. It'll be interesting to see how that is now with the tunnel. I love my train. There's the monorail. I'm so delighted you joined us today. There's nothing I enjoy more than showing folks around this magic king those times I'm fixing Just made a stop at Frontierland Station and look at this view of Big Thunder Mountain. Wow. Because there, the trains have a mind of their own. Another quick stop then in Fantasyland. Next up, and here we go. Always ahead of the curve, and not just because. Yeah, of course, this is where they had to edit the layout because of the construction of Tron. We go through the big tunnel. Interested to see if they've done anything inside this tunnel. As you know, I love this railroad about as much as a songbird loves them. I see how they put some little gaps in the side. No, oh, look at the contemporary over there, looking as gorgeous and majestic as ever. Stunning hotel. And there we go, the Grand Circle Tour of Magic Kingdom. We're back here at Main Street USA. Great to have the railroad back. It really is. And now we approach that station. Really enjoyed that, and it's great getting some views around the park to start the day. And of course, yeah, Charlotte's first ever time on that railroad here. It's really nice to get on that. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I do miss having like the dioramas that you go through on that one. And yeah, you can see a bit more on some of the other railroads at Disney Parks. However, it is a staple of the Disney parks, it really is. So yeah, I'm glad that it's back open here. It should never have been closed for that long, really. Uh, but it was, but it's back now, and that's the main thing. Oh, some footage there from Mickey's Magical Friendship Fair. Perfect timing there, making our way down towards Cinderella Castle. And doesn't it look beautiful? So we've made our way back here into Fantasyland. Oh, we've got a 50 minute wait for Sam Dwarf's Mine Train. Yeah, here we go. It's always one of the most popular rides in the park, this one. So it's definitely worth getting this in early. And here we go on Sam Dwarf. What's great about this ride is that each individual car on the train rocks side to side, which is quite cool. Hey ho! Hi ho! It's hard to work. We go. Hey! Look at rock. <laughs>
does. Hey! Oh, great view of the castle. Oh, sharp brakes, eh? That's Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Oh, it's a great family coaster. Of course, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train there. Oh, that is so much fun. I love how the train rocks side to side and the indoor section is beautifully themed. Everybody gets singing along, don't they, oh, as well on there? Singing, I loved it. Yeah, a great atmosphere. And yeah, the theming is fantastic on this ride. It does get very busy, so I recommend getting down here early in your day at Magic Kingdom. But yeah, fantastic ride. Up next, it's time to go and see Ariel. Oh, how beautiful is this? Just a five minute wait for Under the Sea, Journey of the Little Mermaid. Let's go. Once away from her. Wait a minute. You look kind of familiar. Well, anyway, Ariel fell in love with a human. I want more. It's a beautiful attraction that is, and it's full of animatronics and amazing music and scenes. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, it's so cute. We go around, I'm singing all the songs. I just love it. I love it when you go under the sea and you've got all the animatronics just Sebastian's in there. Sebastian's there under the sea. <laughs> Sebastian's amazing on there. Oh, I love Sebastian. And of course, Ursula animatronic is absolutely incredible on there as well. Yeah, it doesn't feel too busy today here at Magic Kingdom. Like I say, September is a good time for coming to visit. And yeah, we're going to hit out another big attraction down here in Fantasyland now this morning. That's Peter Pan's flight just over here. And here we go, off to Neverland. And on. flight. I'll always remember my first time going on here at Disneyland Paris. I've been amazed of course at the suspended ride system on there. It is quite a short ride, it gets big queues, uh, but you know what, get here early and you'll be fine. But uh, yeah, we're still here in Fantasyland. We're going to go on another classic now called It's a Small World. Oh, I love it. Let's go on. The loading area is looking really fresh. Yeah, it looks like it's had some TLC recently. All the lights that have been redone, yeah, nice and colourful. I always remember the first time I came here, all these buildings were white, and yeah, it's so nice how it's all colourful now. I think it looks fantastic. It's also a very long version of the ride. So yeah, let's go and experience it. Advertised 30, but yeah, it's moving quite fast. I reckon it'll be about 15.
Oh, I do love riding it. It's a small world. It's one of my favourites with the music as well. I'm not the biggest fan. I find it a little bit creepy. Oh, you always have done that, haven't you? Yeah, I have. Since I first rode it, I just think it's a bit creepy. <laughs> well, I really like it. And yeah, it's one of the longer versions of the attraction there as well. Up next, we're going on the Tangle ride. Oh, wait, it's the Tangle Toilets in Fantasyland. Oh, the Tangle Toilets. Hey, yeah, we're leaving this area and we'll come back later on. And yeah, we're going to make our way now onto the Haunted Mansion. Whoa. And we've got an advertised 35 minute wait. Let's go. Is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it your imagination? Hmm. Of course, there's always my way. Oh, I do love the stretching room. And now to board our doom buggy into the haunted mansion. Oh. Mansion is such a Disney classic, isn't it? Oh, we absolutely love it. The theming in there is great, and the soundtrack, oh, we just love it. All the audio animatronics are fantastic, a really immersive set design. It never shows up the best on camera, that one, uh, but there's some beautiful scenes in there, and I like how dimly lit the scenes are, and that's what really makes it. One of my favourites in this version is the staircase with all the footprints. I think that's amazing, and um, it really is fantastic. We have the Haunted Mansion, always it. great to get back on there. And continuing on then, here in Liberty Square. Of course, you've got the Hall of Presidents just over there. Fantastic to see that if you've never been in there before. And of course, celebrating all of the American presidents over the years. Yeah, really nice. And you get the air conditioning for like 20 minutes as well. And yeah, straight ahead, of course, you've got the riverboats. Yeah, the Liberty Bell. So we're going to have a ride round on here now. One of my favourite views here in Magic Kingdom. The Hall of Mansion over there. And of course, the Liberty Bell Riverboat just pulling in now. Let's go and have a ride. I tell you what, crowd levels pretty light today here at Magic Kingdom. Oh, I love that sound. <laughs> but yeah, it's really not too busy at all today. And you can really tell that from on here when you're looking at the pathways around Frontierland. Adventure land there in the background as well. The top of the tiki room. Oh, big Thunder Mountain looks the part, doesn't it, from here too? Incredible. Beautiful Big Thunder. I think we'll make that our next attraction. It doesn't look too busy over there. We're in Frontierland. I love it on here so much. It's about a 15 minute ride all the way around the rivers here. Gorgeous.
a look across to Tom Sawyer Island there. Of course, you can get on one of the small rafts, and that'll take you over to the island where you can explore around this big fortress and all sorts of caves and pathways. And the rope bridge as well that you can see just over there coming into view. Another amazing view there of the exterior of the Haunted Mansion as our ride here on the Liberty Bell comes to an end. Oh, it was lovely and relaxing. You might be thinking, where was Charlotte? Wow, where were you? I was sat inside. <laughs> <laughs> There's got a lovely seating area, haven't they, oh, on the boat? It's lovely in there, just so nice and chill. Yeah, relaxing. Well, yeah, we're going to head up this way towards Big Thunder Mountain. But first, let's talk all about Tiana. So, of course, Splash Mountain is now closed here at Magic Kingdom and also at Disneyland in California. And it is being rethemed into Tiana's Bio Adventure, set to open in 2024. And yeah, as you can see, lots of work going on at the moment, retheming Splash Mountain. And yeah, Tiana's food has got the water tower just off to the right hand side over there as well. And uh, yeah, you've got all the signage down here at the front coming soon. Yeah, they've not announced when yet, but it will be at some point in 2024. I will miss Splash Mountain though. Always had a soft spot for it. It's one of the rides that I always wanted to get on so much uh, before I came out here to Walt Disney World. However, the ride itself will be staying the same, which exactly. is good. The ride will stay the same, just a re-theme. Yeah, and they've already said there's going to be loads of animatronics in there as which well, which is, is good. good. Cause that's the worst, when they re-theme something, but then don't put as many animatronics in. Yeah, I was worried it was going to be too screwy. Heavy, so but luckily it's going to be animatronic. And along with that as well, I love the music as well. Oh, I've never actually seen it. Oh, we'll have to I've watch never it. Seen the movie. Oh, well, there we are. I'll have to watch it. But so uh, yeah, opening next year, uh, of course, Tiana's Bio Adventure. Just interested how they're going to kind of blend it all into Frontierland because it's kind of right in the middle, and then you've got that part of Frontierland that we just walked through, and then Big Thunder down in this direction. We have lots of work going on there at the moment. Let's go ride Big Thunder. <laughs> It's a much better ride at the back for the speed, but you know what? A bit of a different POV if you want. Let's go. coming off the lift near the front but it just speed up quite a bit oh look at this <laughs> it's not like gonna stall and then we'll speed up Woo! Enjoy that down at the front for a change. 
Nice on ride POV there from the wildest ride in the wilderness. Oh, Big Thunder Mountain is just a Disney classic from here. Absolutely love it. It is a staple of a Disney park and of course they're all actually quite different with the layouts as well and yeah with this one of course you've got a very different ending to Disneyland Paris for example as much as that version is my favourite uh, they're all fantastic aren't they? Oh, I just absolutely love it it's just so much fun everyone just loves it. Yeah you can't go wrong uh, with a mine train with all the nice theming around all the rock work and it does build up some good speed as well. Oh, having a brilliant time so far here at Magic Kingdom on such a wonderful day as well. And yeah, we're now making our way down to Main Street USA, ready for the three o'clock showing of the Festival of Fantasy Parade. Yeah, looking forward to seeing that. Love all the buildings that are around here. I mean, all of Magic Kingdom has got some great theming around, but yeah, I just love the vibe of Main Street USA. It's really nice. And of course, with us being down here on Main Street, time to have a little stroll through some of the shops. $85 for the Haunted Mansion Lounge flybag. Expensive, but it's nice that, isn't it? Oh, you know me, I love a good mug selection. And look at this, loads in here. Well, yeah, this one is definitely my favorite, $24.99. Space Mountain just there. And here's a look at the Disney 100 Years of Wonder selection. And yeah, we are actually gonna be heading to Disney Springs. Of course, the shopping and entertainment district here at Walt Disney World, where we're gonna have a really nice detailed look in World of Disney, and of course, all the other shops down there as well. Look at those. I loved these when I saw them, then I saw the price, and I was like, oh my God, these are like $50. Oh, that's a lot, that. <laughs> $50 for a Starbucks cup. Woo. Oh, and just over the road now, Main Street Confectionery. Look at all these. Absolutely delicious. It smells so good in here as well, all the treats. And our favorite down there, the Mickey cookie. Whoa, 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 what have you got over here, Charlotte? It's a classic. <laughs> yeah. Mickey biscuit. We had to go and get it. Here we go, the chocolate chip cookie just there. $5.99. I think that's too bad for the size of it, to be honest. Absolutely good. Plenty for two. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this, it's absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, if you've got a spare $285,000, that could be yours. That's the price tag. Just down there at the bottom. Wow, limited edition. Love the Main Street Philharmonic just there. And yeah, let's grab the Starbucks. Got my name spelled right today. A nice strawberry and green frappuccino. Ready for the Festival of Fantasy Parade. Looking forward to this.
We absolutely love the Festival of Fantasy Parade and it was great to see it again, wasn't oh, it? Oh, that was absolutely amazing. I was singing along as the parade was coming down. Yeah, the floats are massive on there as well and they're really well designed, so you're nice and close to all of your favourite characters on there too. Soundtrack's fantastic and in terms of my favourite floats, got to be the dragon, hasn't oh, it? I absolutely love the dragon, he's fantastic. I do like the finale float though, the hot air balloon with Mickey and Minnie. I think that's great too. But we're going to make our way now over into Adventureland. And we're going to have a ride now on the world famous Jungle Cruise just down here. Yeah, advertised waiting standby of 55 minutes. with Skipper Anna. Yeah, she was really good. I do like all the quirky jokes and puns on there. It's always fantastic. And it looks like the storm might be coming in. We've done really well though for weather this trip. Oh yeah, look at them clouds up there, Charlotte. Yeah, they're looking a bit dark, aren't they? Well, luckily, if a storm comes in, I'm prepared today. Yeah. I got my Crocs on down oh, here. I love that. Let's hey. touch Crocs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Flying carpets with Aladdin just over there. Five minute wait standby. Water effects all around here. I'm going, I'm going. Hooray! <laughs> Tiki room over there, of course, we'll be doing that. Well, first, Pirates of the Caribbean just down here. It's Jack Sparrow! Hey, whereabouts? Oh, here he is, Sparrow. Coming through. Here he is. <laughs> 25 minute wait, not too bad at all for a Disney classic. Pirates of the Caribbean, let's get him right. Oh, my God. 
It's always great getting back on Pirates of the Caribbean. Very impressive ride. As much as this is my least favorite version of the ride, still love getting back on there. And yeah, the reason I say it's my least favorite, you have only got the one drop on this. I do miss having another drop later on. And also it's not got quite as much detailing in the scenes. And it's actually one of the shorter uh, versions of the ride as well. Uh, still, it's got the stable scenes in there. Of course, Jack Sparrow's in there too, as a brilliant animatronic. And overall, still a great family ride. So we're now just about to make our way into Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. Love seeing all the animatronic birds. Let's go and get inside. It has birds on it, and it goes round and round. And that's why we call it a bird mobile. Madame and Monsieur, if it is in the lovely ladies of the ensemble, just like the folly percher with all the feathers, just call it Hello Kelly. the Tiki Room, one of those Disney classics. There's always something going on here at Walt Disney World. Got some characters coming past now. Mary Poppins there. Oh, nice little cavalcade. Right, we're going into Tomorrowland now. I do love this new entrance to Tomorrowland. I mean, I say new, it's been here a few years now. Yeah, it's really nice. When they painted all the rocks up down here as well. And we're going to be starting off with Space Mountain down in this area. You've also got one of my other favorites. Of course, the People Mover. Just over there as well. Oh, it's fantastic. One of my favorite rides in the park. I've always loved these steel palm trees just here. I think they look awesome. Tron just over there as well. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you check out our full review from Tron. We did it in the daytime and also thanks to a lovely cast member at night as well. 40 minute waits for Space Mountain. Let's go and give it a ride. Here we go, Space Mountain. Of course, they put a little bit of footage in because you won't see much other than this tunnel at the start because it's in the pitch black. Hooray! Oh, I do love the light tunnel. Into the darkness. in here at Magic Kingdom is one of the best indoor roller coasters anywhere in the world. Of course with that it's actually two roller coasters in there so if you do count your credits of course you can get them both. Um, yeah along with that you've got some brilliant lighting throughout that you can't really see on camera however you've got the fantastic tunnel at the start. I absolutely love that ride it is amazing my favorite version of Space Mountain. Yeah and of course with that as well you sit in single file rockets which really adds to the experience and yeah you've got so many dual downs and airtime oh, hills. So much fun. Oh it's great it really is we adore it. Right then, up next, on to one of my favourites. It is, of course, the Tomorrowland People Mover. Let's go and get some nice aerial views over the area. And, of course, the castle looks great from up here as well. This is the TTA Blue Line. Nice we wait about five minutes and we're off. Astro Orbiter up there. 
Land. Yeah, I absolutely love this. Yeah, it takes you all above Tora Land. You actually go through Space Mountain and you also get some awesome views of Greetings, Tron. Greetings, intergalactic travelers. Welcome aboard the People Mover, presented by Enterprise. Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor down there as well, an interactive show. That is great fun. Urban Planning and Star Traders. Transfer to the Green and Red Here's a great view of Cinderella Your Castle. Your express train keeps on rolling through the future. Right by two of my favorite spots. There are a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. I wonder if that means there's a tiny Orac. These are two of the best tracks of the cosmos for a bit of light, speedy competition. So we're on Speedway down there. We'll definitely get on that this evening. And of course, there's another look at Tron. We've managed to get another virtual queue, so we're going to be riding it. But of course, I won't put that in this vlog because we already covered it last week. Both the daytime and at night. So yeah, make sure you check it out for review of the new coaster at Magic Kingdom. Another great view of Cinderella Castle. Looking a bit stormy over there behind it. Now approaching Tomorrowland Transit Authority Station. That's our ride on the People Mover. Brilliant, one of my favourites. Really enjoy that. It's great at night as well with all the lighting. And even though we're concluding, this is always my favourite part. Enjoy your ride on People Mover. Oh, I really enjoyed that. It's such a great attraction. Right, so you're going to have a bit of a competition. Yeah, I am going to beat you. Oh, I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> we got Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger Spin just over here. 30 minutes standby, but yeah, it looks a lot less than that to me. Because yeah, it's only just outside. Let's go and give it a go. <laughs> Of course, you spin yourself around using the onboard joystick. <laughs> Quite jolty though when you do that. <laughs> it's not smooth. We've landed on Planet Z. The guns are actually really difficult to shoot with on this one. Because they're actually mounted down like that. You can't like constantly trigger them either. It's like a second delay in between. It's much harder than the other versions. Into the emergency escape hatch. Yeah, this is different to the other versions. Big kind of projection dome. And there's Buzz Lightyear. Wow, you did a lot better than me there, Charlotte. Yes. <laughs> it's really hard because the guns aren't great and also the targets don't light up very well. Excuse, excuse. <laughs> Some on ride footage there from Buzz Lightyear. And yeah, it's not my favourite version of that attraction. Feels quite outdated this now, not just with the targets, but also the guns on there. Uh, it's quite hard to shoot with them, but still, there is some different scenes in there uh, to some of the others. Yeah, Charlotte beat me by a mile on there as well. Those guns are so hard to shoot on there, it needs TLC that does. Yeah, I agree. We've also just had another ride, of course, using the virtual queue over on Tron. And yeah, as I've mentioned a couple of times, make sure you check out that separate video here on the channel where we go in full detail. It's also just rained a little bit. So yeah, we're just going to grab a little bit of food now. What are you having, Charlotte? I'm getting a cheese toasty with a tomato soup from Starbucks. Oh, that sounds good. And then we'll probably come back into Tomorrowland and maybe do um, the Speedway just over there as well. And then probably back up into Fantasyland. Uh, but we might uh, be able to get that in just before the fireworks. If not, we'll watch it after. Happily Ever After, which we're really looking forward to seeing tonight.
Oh, and down here on Main Street USA, then there's Charlotte's Food. Oh, lovely, that's nice. There you go, it's like some Starbucks here on Main Street, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I've got the grilled cheese and the tomato soup. Yeah, it was like $10. $10.99, not too bad. Yeah, that's all right, that. And here we go. We're actually going to stay down here now because there's only 30 minutes to go until Happily Ever After. And yeah, it's really nice to have this show back here at Walt Disney World. As much as Disney Enchantment was impressive to watch, it's the music that really makes Happily Ever After. So we're gonna get in position out the front of the castle. Not too close though, because of course you wanna be a little bit further back so you can see the big fireworks. And yeah, coming up, it's Happily Ever After. Really excited to see this show again after over four years.
Absolutely incredible, happily ever after here at Magic Kingdom. What an amazing nighttime spectacular that really is. I absolutely love that show. I was so happy when they brought it back. I cannot watch that show without crying. Oh, it always gets you. It's the music in there as well. It's beautifully put together. Lots of Disney classics and storytelling in there. Tinkerbell flying off the top of Cinderella Castle. And of course, yeah, fantastic fireworks. You always get the biggest and the best fireworks here at Magic Kingdom out of all the Disney parks. And of course, with all the space they've got around here, they can launch massive fireworks and it really makes it, doesn't oh, it? Oh, I just absolutely love that show. It really tugs on the heartstrings for me. I just love all the audio in there. And it just flows really nicely as well. It's a beautiful show and we're really glad that it's back and hopefully here to stay oh, at Magic so. Kingdom. <laughs> Happily ever after. And we had a good view tonight as well. Now the park's home until 10 o'clock tonight. Fireworks finished at 8.45. So it's a great time to get lots of attractions in now. Everybody leaves after the fireworks. Uh, don't do it because it gets so crowded. Make the most of a much quieter park. Tomorrow on Speedway now, 10 minutes. Here we go then, we're on the Tomorrowland Speedway. There's that view of the people moving up there. I was to say it's a good night ride because it's a little beautifully here in Tomorrowland. And where is everybody? Is there anyone on the road, Charlotte? I know, I'm trying to concentrate because you always moan about my driving. I don't know what you're on about. Well, we'll never do that. We're going to get some good views of Tron when we get round here, which will be nice. Oh, look at that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Lit up there. Tron Light Cycle Run. We're laughing because a guy just, <laughs> instead of stopping, he literally just drove straight through the, the loaded area. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> we wasn't expecting it. We thought we were getting a green car. He was like, I don't want to get off. He just goes straight in. <laughs> oh, God. What a view. Oh, there goes the train. Tonight. Oh, they're right behind us. You need to speed up, that's it. Full pal. As you head round past Tron. Oh, we've got loads in today. Brilliant day here at Magic Kingdom. And that view oh, good. is yeah. epic. Yeah, driving's picking up a bit. That's the thing with these, you know, we're bumping them in and out. A bit. It gives me a rough ride. <laughs> Beautiful. Tron fits in really nice though. Look at that new lighting package on Space Mountain. I'm struggling pushing the pedal down. My toe's coming out the top of my crotch. <laughs> oh, it's getting a bit bumpy here, yeah, right? No, I'm trying my best. As soon as I turn the camera off, she starts going wild. Yeah. Like, yeah, side to side. I'm trying my best. Trying your best. You keep on the line. I That's am. A, this is why I drove on the US road trip. Yeah. Look, we've not had a car here in Florida. You don't really need one, to be honest. No, you don't. It's not what you're saying on the resorts and as I'm well. Driving We'll have to go and see Pooh next. Yes! Oh, don't you just love Disney parks at night? Always look gorgeous with all the lighting. And yeah, nice ride down the speedway. Of course, you've got the teacups over here. We did those at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So make sure you check out the vlog. We've got a very special lighting package. <laughs> We're heading on to another dark ride then now. And of course, it's the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. I really like how the ride system bounces about on this. This is Wednesday. Yeah. If you ask me, he'll never reach that tree. Oh, I mean, I mean, oh dear. Hang on tightly, Ruth. Hey, let's take a couple of bounces. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, I do love Winnie the Pooh. It's such an underrated ride, in my opinion. It's so cute. I love when you get to the Tigger section, you start bouncing around. One of my favourite things in there is how you've got the bits of scenery actually in the ride path and they move and out the way. Move out the way. That's so good. I love it. Yeah, it just uh, adds to it. But yeah, we're heading down now into Storybook Circus, the last part of the night. And as you can see, it's really emptied out now. We're going to head down onto the Barnstormer, which is a little roller coaster down here. Of course, you've got Dumbo the Flying Elephant off to the right. Yeah, they've got two of them in this Magic Kingdom. Of course, to help with the throughputs, but you don't really need that tonight. Five minute wait. Hey, look at this, there's only a few of us on the train. It's gonna be a bit dark this pit over here. I don't know what you're gonna see, but look, we'll go for it anyway. Some nice views over Fantasyland. Oh. And there's Dumbo, might try and squeeze in Dumbo. Not been on it for years. I don't think I've ever been on it. Yeah, not in this one anyway. No. Yeah, there's one lap round on this. I do like all the lights around here though, in Storybook Circus, of course, part of Fantasyland. Here we go. Hey! Oh, that's Tron. Hey! Woo! We've actually sat in the little plane bit here as well. Hey! Ready for it? It's a bit of a helix, helix, helix. Standard layout, nothing special that one, but it's got some good theming and a nice train. Oh. Nice little coaster there on the Barnstormer, some good bits of theming around. I like it when you go through the billboard. And this is the best time to be here in Magic Kingdom after the fireworks. It is empty, look at this, we're the only ones here waiting. Poor Dumbo, yeah, let's go and have a go. Hey, oh, it always looks so pretty at night with the lights. And also all the water features. Yeah, the reason we don't come on this that much is because there's that many awesome rides in this park. Of course, Dumbo, you can find at all the Disney parks. So yeah, we try and prioritise the more unique things. But you know what? We've done so much today here in this park. We thought, let's make the most of it. Got on Dumbo. Quite pretty at night, all the way around. Tron over there as well. Charlotte's in control. <laughs> let's pull the lever. And you go off as high as you want to. We've got about 15 minutes left of this operational day, 10 o'clock park close. We're gonna try and get one more ride in on Big Thunder Mountain, this time at night, because it's a great night ride. Well, we just ended our night here at Magic Kingdom with a walk-on ride on Big Thunder Mountain. And I tell you what, it's a great night ride. I didn't film on there because of course, yeah, you can't really see a lot of night on this version. However, it is a brilliant ride in the dark. And of course, Cinderella Castle, looking majestic and gorgeous tonight. And of course, the perfect way to end our night, walking down Main Street, USA, all lit up beautifully as always. What I've got to say, today has been the best day I've ever had at Magic Kingdom here at Walt Disney World. We've got so many attractions in. We've seen the entertainment, the parade, the fireworks, and the atmosphere has been phenomenal as well, hasn't it, today? Oh, it's been absolutely fantastic. We have loved every second. We've had so many laughs today. It's been brilliant. Oh, loads of our ride POVs as well, which has been great. Love Disney's policy on that. And yeah, this park really is magical. Highlights for me today, though, were the parade. Of course, Happily Ever After was brilliant oh, too. That. And of course, getting back on the classic legacy attractions here. Oh, I'm so happy that we got on Space Mountain today. I absolutely love that ride. Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? Along with that, of course, we got on Big Thunder. We've seen the construction for Tiana. So much. Pirates, Haunted Mansion, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. It has been a phenomenal day. It's been action-packed, uh, but you know what? Mm. I have loved every single second of it. I really have. Uh, but of course, thanks for joining us here Thank on Theme so Park much. Worldwide. Magic Kingdom, um, done and dusted. It's been absolutely phenomenal. It really has. You can get round, get so much done, and uh, yeah, it really makes you appreciate how many attractions there is. It's the busiest theme park in the world, so it's so important that they've got um, a high quantity of rides in this park, and it really shows um, where you can go around and get so much done, doesn't oh, we've it? we've had such a funny day. One of my highlights, <laughs> we didn't get it on camera, we were waiting for the parade, and I fell off the curb onto the floor in front of everybody. <laughs> on Main Street, yeah, so I just kind of went rolling around the side. Oh, no, and everyone was laughing at me. <laughs> oh, it was quite a funny moment, that was. Oh, but it's been an amazing day. Make sure you check out our various other Walt Disney World vlogs here on Theme Park Worldwide, too. But here 
from Main Street, that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out, out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. We'll see you in the next video.